and welcome back. Today we will have lecture 6-3, which is a supplemental lecture to help you understand the content in lab 7. It will discuss state space observer design, integral control, integrated full state estimation, and feedback. The objectives are to design an observer for system state estimation, to determine the observability of a control system, to design an integral controller to improve steady state error, and to design a compensator for integrated full state feedback and estimation. An observer or estimator is used to calculate state variables that are not accessible from the plant. Sometimes it's expensive or not feasible to add sensors for every state in a system. A simulator or electronics can be used to estimate the states and the controller will receive the estimated states instantaneously. You then use the input, the estimated states, and the output of the system to deduce the state variables and feedback of the estimated states. The design of an observer is separate from the design of the controller gain vector k, which we did in the last lecture. The design consists of finding the observer gains, L, so that the transient response of the observer is faster than the control loop to yield a rapidly updated estimate of the state vector. We will use the following equations for this design. The first one is the state estimate, x hat dot equals ax hat plus bu plus L times y minus y hat, which is equal to ax hat plus bu plus LC times x minus x hat. The output estimate is y hat equals c x hat. The state error is e x dot, which is x dot minus x hat dot, which equals a x plus b u, which is our original state equation, minus the estimated state a x hat plus b u plus l c times x minus x hat, which can be rewritten as the quantity a minus l c times x minus x hat which equals a minus LC times the error EX. The output error is E sub Y equals Y minus Y hat, which equals C times X minus X hat, which equals C times the error. We can write these equations in terms of matrices as following, the observer estimator state equations, the output equations, the observer error state equations, and the output equations. If all of the eigenvalues of a minus LC are negative, then the state error will go to zero. Figure one shows a block diagram of a control system with an observer. Notice we still have the traditional input U and the state variable feedback and the output Y, but now we have a new part of the system, which here has Y tilde and Y hat. And we also have X hat dot which now y tilde is the difference between y and y hat. And we have x hat dot and x hat, which will go to the controller. So now this represents our observer. The observer canonical form is the easiest form for designing observer gains. And it is y triple dot plus a1 y double dot plus a2 y dot plus a3 y equals b naught u triple dot plus b1 u double dot plus b2 u dot plus b3 u. And you can write this equation in terms of the matrices as shown here. And notice what distinguishes it as an observer canonical form is that all of the terms A are on the right column. Note that the observer canonical form and the controller canonical forms are duals, which means that the controller A is the transpose of the observer A, the controller B is the transpose of the observer C, and the controller C is the transpose of the observer B matrix. Steps to design the observer. Identify the state variable matrices A, B, C, and D. Calculate the matrix SI minus A minus LC. Find the determinant of the compensated system, which is the determinant of SI minus A minus LC. Determine the desired characteristic equation to satisfy the design constraints, delta D of S, and equate coefficients to find the observer gains L. In class activity one, the control system with the following plant has been designed for a four second settling time and a 20.8% overshoot. Design the observer to respond 10 times faster than the closed loop design. So the first thing we need to do is to derive the state equations from this transfer function and then find our A, B, C, and D matrices. We have done this in prior lectures. So here I will just give the final result. 
x dot equals 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 10, negative 17, negative 8x plus 0, 0, 1, u. y is equal to 4, 1, 0, x. So this is AC, BC, and CC. So the observer A matrix equals the transpose of the controller A matrix, which is 0, 0, negative 10, 1, 0, negative 17, and 0, 1, negative 8. The observer B matrix is the controller transpose, which is 4, 1, 0. And the observer C matrix is the controller B matrix transpose, which equals 0, 0, 1. The controller poles, based upon the design specs, are negative 1 plus or minus j2 and negative 4. So since the observer has to be 10 times faster, the observer poles are negative 10 plus or minus j20 and negative 40. So from here we're going to derive the desired characteristic equation. Delta d of s is equal to s plus 40 times s plus 10 plus j20 times s plus 10 minus j20. So delta d of s is equal to s cubed plus 60s squared plus 1300s plus 20,000. Now let's find a naught minus L C naught. So this is equal to zero, one, negative 10 minus L one, one, zero, negative 17 minus L two, and zero, one, negative eight minus L three. And this comes from 0, 0, negative 10, 1, 0, negative 17, 0, 1, negative 8, minus L1, L2, L3, times 0, 0, 1. Next, we want to find SI minus the quantity a naught minus L C zero. So this is S zero 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 S zero 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 S minus zero one negative ten minus L one one zero negative seventeen minus L two zero one negative eight minus L three which equals S zero ten plus L one negative one S seventeen plus L two zero negative one S plus eight plus L three. Next, we find the characteristic equation delta of S by taking the determinant of SI minus the quantity A naught minus LC naught. And when we do that, we get S cubed plus the quantity eight plus L three S squared minus 17 plus L two S plus 10 plus L one. So now what we want to do is to equate coefficients in order to find L1, L2, and L3. 
we see from here that 10 plus L1 must equal 20,000. So L1 is equal to 19,990. And negative 17 plus L2 must equal 1,300. So from there, we get that L2 is equal to negative 1,317. And L3 is equal to 52. So our final answer for the L matrix is 19,990, negative 13, 17, and 52. In class activity two, design the observer for the following control system to have a 0.8 second settling time and 16.3% overshoot. So we're given that x dot is equal to 0, 1, negative 3, negative 2x plus 0, 1, u. And y is equal to 0, 1, x. So based upon the design specifications, such as a settling time of 0 0.8 seconds, we know that sigma d must be equal to 5. And for a 16.3% overshoot, we get that theta is equal to 60 degrees. So omega d is equal to 5 times the tangent of 60 degrees, which equals 8.66. So the desired poles are at negative five, plus or minus j, 8.66. And the characteristic equation is s plus five plus j, 8.66, times s plus five minus j, 8.66, which equals s squared plus 10s plus 100. So now let's find a naught which equals to the transpose of the A controller matrix. So that is 0, negative 3, 1, negative 2, B naught, which is the transpose of the C controller matrix, which is 0, 1, and C naught, which is the transpose of the B controller matrix, which is also 0, one. So now let's find I A naught minus L C naught. So this is zero, negative three, one, negative two, minus L one, L two times zero one. So A naught minus L C naught is equal to zero, negative three minus L one, one, negative two minus L two. SI minus the quantity A minus L C naught is equal to S zero zero S minus zero negative three minus L one one negative two minus L two which equals S three plus L one negative one S plus two plus L two so we take the determinant of SI minus L minus LC naught. And this is going to give us our characteristic equation, which equals S squared plus 2 plus L2S plus 3 plus L1. And just as we did before, we equate coefficients. And we see here that 2 plus L2 must equal 10. So... L2 is equal to 8, and 3 plus L1 must equal 100. So L1 is equal to 97. And finally, our L matrix is 97, 8. Finally, just as we could determine whether a system was controllable or not by determining if it was full rank or it had a determinant that was not zero, we can do the same to determine if a system is observable. So if a state vector x of t can be found from u of t and y of t over a finite time interval, then a system is observable. Otherwise, the system is unobservable. A system is observable if the observability matrix O sub m is a full rank. A matrix that is full rank has a non-zero determinant. 
We form the observability matrix by using C, CA, CA to the N minus one up until the number of rows and columns of the A matrix. So in class activity three, it's to determine if the following two systems are observable. The first one is X dot is equal to zero, one, zero, 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 one, negative four, negative three, negative two, X plus zero, zero, one, U, and Y is equal to zero, five, one, X. So the first thing we calculate is CA. CA is equal to negative four, negative three, Three. A squared is equal to zero, zero, one, negative four, negative three, negative two, and eight, two, one. And finally, C A squared is equal to negative twelve, negative thirteen, negative nine. So the observability matrix, the first row is C, so that's zero, five, one. The second row is CA, negative four, negative three, three. And the third row is CA squared, negative 12, negative 13, negative nine. And when we find the determinant of the observability matrix, we find that it is negative 344, which is not equal to zero. So this matrix does have full rank, and this is an observable system. Now for our final system of this part of the lecture, x dot is equal to zero, one, negative five, negative 21 over four x plus zero, one u, y is equal to five, four x. So the only preliminary matrix we have to calculate is CA, and CA is equal to zero, one, times zero, one, negative five, negative 21 over four. CA is equal to negative 20, negative 16. So the observability matrix, the first row is five, four, and the second row is CA, which is negative 20, negative 16. And the determinant of the observability matrix is zero. So this is not full rank, and this system is not observable.